welcome back to another cooking video all right you guys today we are going to be making beans okay we're going to be making great northern white beans all right so of course we have here the beans all right and they've already been soaked we have here some ham and i smoked this ham in my roaster and i'm going to show you that in a minute we have um some onion right here okay um we also have some coconut oil um black pepper um onion soup mix we have some garlic and of course we have my favorite accent um we also are going to use a half a cup of sugar okay in the beans now these are the ingredients that I normally use to make my beans when I do my white beans, my Great Northern White Beans. Um, what I want to show you guys, like I said, um, I fixed this ham in my roaster, okay? So what I want to show you here is my roaster. So this is my roasting pan, you guys. And I actually bought this roasting pan. I got it from um, the Goodwill. Um, no, I got it from the Salvation Army. And I paid like $5 for it, okay? Okay. But this actually, you guys, is, like I said, it's an 18-quart roaster oven. And you can actually buy this at Walmart. You can get it at on Amazon. You can buy it at Target. And I know at Walmart and Amazon, it's anywhere from $30 to $35, $30, between $30 and $40. And you guys, what's so great about this and what I, why I really wanted to show it to you guys is because, as we know, the holidays are approaching. Okay, and we're going to be doing a lot of cooking here in the next what next couple months in November and December. And if you guys are anything like me and you cooking for a lot of people and you're cooking several different meats, what this oven, this roaster oven, what this roaster oven does is it helps you free up space. Okay, I call it my oven on top of the kitchen counter. So, what I did, you guys, like I told you, I um roasted this ham and this is the uh, the rest of the ham i'm actually gonna finish cutting that up and i am going to um freeze it because i'm going to use it my daughter wants some greens and i'm going to use the rest of that ham to put in my greens okay but this the reason why i want to show you and maybe you guys have this and maybe some people don't have it um what this does is it frees up space for you in your oven okay so if you're anything like me um, most of the holidays you're cooking like a turkey and a ham, okay? And if you're a person who don't fry their turkey and you put your turkey in the oven and you cook a ham as well for either holiday, Christmas, or, or Thanksgiving, you can simply put your turkey or your ham in here and then put your other meat in your oven. And with this, you know, if you're anything like me, I get up very early in the morning on those holidays and start my, with my cooking because... At, at the time, I only had one source of cooking, was which is my oven. So I know I had to cook two different meats. So I would get up very early in the morning and start my one of my meats because I knew I had to get it out, you know, to do the other so I can wouldn't be cooking all day. Well, with this, you guys, like I did today, I put this ham in here and I put it on 325 degrees and I cooked it basically 20 minutes for every... For every pound, and this ham was seven pounds, so 20 times seven is 140 minutes, which is a little over two hours. And what it does is, it actually, when you cook a ham in here, it gives it that, like, smoke, smoky taste. It's like smoking your meat when you cook it in one of these roaster ovens. So, like I say, a ham, a turkey, a roast, a chicken, you can cook any type of meat in this roaster oven. So, I just wanted to show you guys that really quick, okay? Just to give you some ideas because the holidays are coming. So, you can make it quick and easy for you in the kitchen, okay? Because on my channel, I believe in quick and easy. All right. So, what we're going to do over here, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get our beans started. And I already have my pot of water I already start boiling over here. And like I said, I soaked my beans. Now, if you're the type of person that cooks beans and you cook it um, in your crock pot, you don't have to soak your beans because it's going to slow cook. But with me, I didn't use a crock pot today. I'm just going to cook them on top of the stove. So I wanted them to cook a little faster. So I went, on, went ahead and pre-soaked them for a couple of hours um, just so 
it, it would, won't take as long to cook, okay? So again, I put my great northerns in, in the water, okay? And I'm gonna bring you guys just a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Pull you guys up a little bit. All right, so there we go. All right, so what you what we're gonna get started with first is we're gonna start adding our seasons, okay? So again, like I told you guys, I use an onion, um, onion soup mix for my beans, okay? And you can use the Lipton kind. Um, you go to Walmart has a generic, or if you go to Kroger's, um, Food Lion, any stores like that, you can use the generic kind, okay? I am, I am gonna add some additional water to this. Um, and then I go ahead and I add um, a little garlic, okay? And then again, you add as much seasoning as your taste buds can handle. Some people don't like garlic, some people do. Um, again, I use a little accent because it wakes up the food flavoring, okay? Just sprinkle a little accent in there. Um, pepper. And I sprinkle a little pepper. And a lot of times, you guys, when I fix my beans, um, after they start cooking for a while, I'll go back and do a taste test on them to see if I need to add any additional seasons because, you know, the the beans is going to... Beans are going to soak up the water, okay? So that's one of the reasons, like I said, we need to add it. So I'll go ahead and stir them around a little bit. I mean, beans are very easy to cook. Um, I'm just showing you how I do it. Uh, but you, again, you can cook beans any way you want to cook them. And then, you guys, we're going to go ahead and add some coconut oil in the beans, okay? So I add... Little oil in there. Okay. And then you guys um, add my sugar. I put sugar in my beans. If you don't want sugar in your beans, don't put it in there. Okay. So that's what I do. I started doing that, you guys, when my kids were real young um, to make them eat beans. And it kind of just stuck, and that's just what we're used to now. Okay? All right. So, like I said, I go ahead and add my ham. And the reason why I um, do it like this, to me, you guys, it's just, it's cheaper to do it like this. Like, you can buy ham chucks, or you can buy ham hocks. Um, like I said, I already had the ham. The ham that I had bought was only like $7, and it was essentially enough pieces in there for me to do several meals out the ham and um my family likes meat in their beans any type of beans that i cook brown beans white beans um they like meat in their beans okay so i always put meat in my beans so therefore whenever they're and um you know eating them and when that scoop when they scoop them out they can always have some type of chunks of meat in their beans that's how i essentially got my children started with eating beans because you know a lot of kids don't like beans but all my children eat beans all of them and when i fix my beans i always fix cornbread now i'm gonna be honest with you i take shortcuts on the cornbread okay you guys i added some onion in there and um this was i just added half the onion because i have already have an onion flavored um soup pack in here so i don't want it to taste real onion onion flavor so I just added just a little bit of the onion okay okay so like I said I'm going to add some more water to this okay gotta step off camera really, really quick so I can get the water all right so I was able to get more water and I'll just pour that in there. Okay. And again, I stir it around. And get all those seasonings going in there. All right. So then I stir those around like that, you guys. I make sure my fire is... um on medium high
And you guys, I literally let them cook for about two hours on the stove, okay? Doesn't that look good with all that meat? Oh my goodness. Just looks so good. That way when you pick up a handful, you can always get meat in every scoopful that you pick up. And like I said, I fix cornbread with it. I fix Jiffy Mix because my children, my family loves Jiffy Mix. Sometimes I fix cornbread for scratch, but today is a quick night because it's Friday night and your girl's not trying to be in the kitchen all day. So we're just going to throw a quick um, pan of Jiffy Mix in the oven, okay? All right, you guys, I'm going to show you how this looks when I get back. All right, you guys, so we're back and we're checking on the beans. Um, <clears throat> I did have to add a little more water in here and turn the fire down. Initially, when I start my beans, I, I get them to boiling. And then I turn the water down midway through it. But I just wanted to show you guys how it's looking so far. And when I tell you guys, it smells so good. Oh my goodness, you guys. Beans, as you know, is a very good source of vitamin C. And um, this is something that my kids can eat on today and tomorrow. Because I will be out of town tomorrow for a couple hours. So they'll be here and they can come get them, you know, something to eat. I don't want them cooking in my kitchen when I'm not here. See how much meat is in there? And you just scoop up a... Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my goodness, and this smells so good. I love cooking beans because it just... You know, it's fall time, you guys. And these are the type of meals you eat in the fall. I know in some parts of the country, it's still kind of warm. But, you know, I'm in the Midwest, so it's it's getting kind of cool here now. You can definitely tell the seasons are changing um, in this part of the country. And this definitely is a good comfort meal. Beans and cornbread. All right, you guys, we're back. And because I have a house full of greedy men in my house. They had already started eating the beans before I could get back um, to finish up the video because it was other things I was doing in the house. So just to show you guys the finished product, as you can see, all right? So like I said, you guys, when you scoop it up, you get just a heaping portion of meat within your beans right there and um plate of cornbread or a side of cornbread on the side you guys and you're ready to eat i want to thank you so much for watching my video if you guys try the ham in the recipe the way i did it come back and let me know what you thought or what your family thought of it okay Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, you guys, let's eat. See you in the next video. Bye.